Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Well, we're gonna try to modify the Leatherman Wave. And what I've got is I've got a pair of scissors that came out of a, a Pioneer X that was uh, provided to me by one of my viewers, Andrew. I appreciate it very much. So we're gonna see if we can't take one of the knife blades out of the Wave. In this case, I'm using my wife's second generation Wave that she used to carry right up until she confiscated one of my surges a few years back. And so I'm going to be using this one for the time being until we make sure we have it right. But we're going to, first first things first, we're going to get this off. And I've got a couple of security torques. These are uh, number 10 security torques to get these uh, these fit, uh, fittings off of here, the screws for the, for the wave. So we're going to get this knife blade off first. We're going to match it up to what we've got here and kind of take a look and, and see where we're going to land. Now, just kind of eyeballing it. It looks like if I get that hole to center up, I might be able to modify this where it would, I might have to file off a little bit there to create the second, the stop. But I think I can make this work uh, fairly easily if we can get that hole drill. This is pretty hard stuff. So uh, we'll just see if my drill bits can handle it. If not, I might have to get a better set of drill bits. So first things first, let's get the knife blade off, take a look and see what we've got. Okay, so now that I've got this off, and we've, if we line it up or try to line it up here, which is kind of difficult to tell on that knife blade, let's let's bring the wave back in here and we'll take a little better look at it. If I were to center that up, and it's a little off center right there, so I think this might work. I mean, it's gonna be back here, so what I'll have to do is I'll have to file a little bit out of that corner in order to get that stop to work. But I think I'm gonna be able to make the cut here to get the liner lock to catch and file this down in order for it to seat correctly. So next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, drill the hole out, or try to anyway. So I'm gonna be using a, a Norseman uh, drill set. This is part number SPM-29P. This is uh, an HD uh, premium black and gold set, is what they call it. So basically this is just a, a your standard hardened steel uh, drill bit, uh, high strength steel drill bit. I don't know that it's going to be good enough to get through this uh, through this hardened steel on that on that on those scissors, but we're going to give it a shot. It's possible that I might have to go up to uh, a different uh, size or a different uh, um, drill bit set in order to, uh, to accomplish this. So let's find out what drill bit we're going to have to use here first. It's pretty close to. Might go up a 64th. No, so on a 732nd, and I think these are metric. It might be 764. So we're going to drill this out to 764. So we're just going to step up. We're going to start with our lowest one, or not quite our lowest bit, and see if we can't get this to drill out. And we'll just step it up with these five bits, see if we can't uh, drill into that and, uh, and make that work. So let's get started. Well, that didn't work. Uh, kind of what I was afraid of, but we will not be deterred. On to plan B. Well, after spending about 45 minutes on the phone and then another 45 minutes to track them down, I finally was able to find some 730 seconds cobalt bits. So let's give this a try and see if this is gonna work.
Well, it seems that I have drastically overestimated how tough this steel was. This heat treated steel is, is, a, is harder than what I thought it was. So I started out trying to do this with a regular drill bit. Obviously that didn't go very far. So I went out and I actually bought a couple of carbide bits, but even the carbide bits, now they started to get through there, but uh, they're just giving up and they're just gonna have to be constantly resharpening, resharpening. So what I've done is I went out and got a couple uh, sets of carbide burrs uh, tungsten carbide burr uh, uh, for my Dremel and now the whole pattern on here uh, even I think this one is the one that's gonna fit the best uh, it's this is a little bit too large for the whole size of of the knife blade so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to go in there about halfway and then flip it around try to go halfway on the other side uh, just to get it really close and then we'll see if we can't get the rest of it with that carbide bit. If if that doesn't work, then I got these little ones, which I'll just take a smaller one and we'll just try to feather it in and, and just get it little by little until we can get that hole sized uh, correctly so that we can get this put into the wave and give it a shot and see how it's gonna work. Oh, shut up, cat.
Well, those tungsten carbide bits were absolutely the way to go. That made a lot quicker work of this. Now, it's not quite 100% perfect, but it should work pretty decent enough. I got it a little bit oversized on this side. This side over here looks a little bit better. So I might have went just a touch too far, but it shouldn't affect the operation of this thing. So let's, let me get it back in the knife, and then we'll see how it's going to, what, what we're going to have to do from there. So it appears as though it's not going to seed up quite correctly. What we're going to do is just take just a little bit of material off this edge. I don't think, well, we might be able to get it to form just around that stop in order to create the backstop, but it's going to be touch and go. So I'm going to start taking a little bit of material off of this little by little uh, with a diamond file. I'll try it with a diamond file. If not, I'll bring in, uh, I'll bring in a little grinder and we'll, we'll get the initial knocked off of it real quick and then we'll try to file it in and see if we, how close we can get it before we work on getting the liner lock set Well, I overshot it a little bit. What I was trying to accomplish was to keep that ledge right at the corner there, and, and I went a little bit too deep. I'm not sure how I accomplished that, but I think I'm gonna be okay because just resting against the back here is gonna create the stop. If I can get the if I can get the liner lock set correctly, then I think everything is gonna work fine. It's just a matter of really taking my time to get that liner lock uh, positioned correctly so that it engages correctly so that I get those two points of contact. And then at that point, uh, I like the way those scissors are sitting in there. So it, it should work, but uh, well, it's gonna be trial and error. So let's get with it. Okay, so I got it back in here and I didn't quite get it filed correctly. I got just a slight bit more file work to do for that liner lock because it's not quite catching the way I want it to. And on the back side, the little stop back here, it actually seated up pretty well. So this is fairly solid. The problem is, is I don't have, I think I might have taken off just a touch too much material. So I got just a little tiny bit of wiggle there. One other issue that you find or that I have found with these uh, Victorinox scissors in here is that as you're opening them up, you actually have to hit the liner lock twice. I'll show you what I mean. So 
we'll get them closed down. First of all, you see how they seat in there and they actually hold in there really nicely. So when I fold them out, because this scissors doesn't have enough material around the front side, it doesn't keep the liner lock down. So as you're opening them up, the liner lock will come up and you actually have to push it down for a second time. And you can see, I don't have it filed quite, quite perfect yet. I'm probably gonna have to dress that up just a touch more so that that liner lock seats up there correctly on me. But in, they, they work though, so you can put them in here. And we'll just try them out, make sure everything is working right. Now, again, you gotta contend with the issue of that liner lock closing up on you twice, but uh, they actually seat in there very nicely. Now, for sure, you're gonna wanna use uh, carbide burrs to, to go through and, and get the hole size right on there because regular drill bits, Boy, they were not getting it done. So you you definitely have to invest in a couple of these. I'll put some links down below uh, for these. They're actually a pretty cheap set and they're they're pretty, I don't know, they got quite a, quite a few different bits in there to choose from. So, you know, you can really do some detailed work on some other steel too. So uh, definitely I'll leave links down below. So if anyone wants to try this, it is a viable option, though you do have to contend again with that, that double catch, if you will, on that liner lock. But Apart from that, it's pretty solid. So there it is, Victorinox scissors in a Leatherman wave.